Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Krista Dubill with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines. One person is dead tonight after a rollover crash in KCK. A witness told police the black SUV hit the guardrail, flipped over on 18th Street Expressway near Kansas Avenue. Police are investigating what caused that crash. A local mother and her two-year-old made a dangerous discovery at a Kansas City park. Take a look at this. The mom found this syringe near the jungle gym at Gillum Park. When she warned others on social media, she discovered parents found more needles across the park. Within the last couple months, there was one that was found by the splash pad, which even more of a concern because obviously many kids run with no shoes on over there. The Parks and Rec Department told 41 Action News they send maintenance crews out to Gillum Park every day. But with a high turnover rate, the department struggles to keep up with the city's more than 200 parks. Ultimately, it comes down to personal responsibility. Customers say they were left with sticker shock and damaged items after using a well-known moving company. We first brought you the story last night about All My Sons Moving and Storage. Since our story ran, we've received more complaints about the company from people in our area. We also heard back from the Missouri Attorney General's office. It says it received 26 complaints about All My Sons in the past five years. All of those complaints have been resolved except for the nine so far this year. If you're in the market for a mover, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration has some advice. One, get a written estimate from several movers and make sure it's based on actual inspection of your things. Two, check the mover's complaint history. You can contact your local Better Business Bureau and consumer protection agencies for information. And finally, make sure you understand the type of liability you agree to. Ask yourself if 60 cents per pound is enough coverage for all of your stuff in the unexpected, if the unexpected happens. Your forecast is next. I'm meteorologist Gerard Bailey. heading into the weekend. We are talking about rain chances increasing here. So your Friday starts out pretty dry here, but later on into the afternoon and evening, we'll see a few showers and thunderstorms trying to pop up here. Not a guarantee of seeing the rainfall here, but as we head into Saturday and Sunday, better rain chances as scattered showers and thunderstorms will become uh, at least more apparent, especially widespread early Sunday morning. Now, will the rain clear out in time for the Chiefs game? That's a good question. Not a guarantee with that, though, but I will say tailgating time certainly will have rain and thunderstorms around. As the game rolls on, there is a good chance we could see some of that rain moving out, but we could still have a little bit of lingering rainfall, at least to start the game. Remember to get all your latest news and weather updates anytime on KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.